Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a good few weeks now since I've done a video, uh, six, seven weeks maybe now. Uh, it's been a little while, but um, yeah, been really busy in, in a good way though. Um, I've now released my fragrance oil range. So it's not just a fragrance oil range, it's a premium fragrance oil range. So what's the difference? What do I mean by premium fragrance oil range? Is it just that the price is higher? Uh, no, that's definitely not the case. Um, how can I describe it? So I started making candles six years ago. It's when I first started. And I really, back then I really struggled to find a fragrance oil, um, many fragrance oils that would actually work well in candles. Um, I've used all the big suppliers in the UK and their, I want to try and say this as politely as I can, their fragrance oils don't work too well in candles, let's put it that way. In wax melts, they work quite fine. Um, some better than others, some are quite rubbish, let's be honest about it. Um, but the majority of them are fine in wax melts. But in candles, uh, the scent throw is not strong. Let's just leave it as that. So over the course of uh, the last year, just over a year now, um, I've been working with different uh, fragrance oil suppliers in the UK, not suppliers, sorry, manufacturers in the UK, to develop a fragrance oil range that actually works really well. Um, how is my, first of all, how am I creditable? Creditable? How am I credible in terms of releasing a fragrance oil range? You know, what's, what experience do I have, basically, in terms of uh, being able to produce alongside obviously a fragrance oil manufacturer um, their knowledge is greater than mine that's for damn sure but how have I gone about developing a premium fragrance oil range that's what I was trying to get there trying to get to the point of that took a long time there didn't it um, so over the last three and a half years I've been developing developing god get my words out over the last three and a half years I've been uh, manufacturing candles that I sell to shops so I sell currently now I sell to 14 shops uh, 12 of those are actually under the ownership of one person so that's the, the majority of them and uh, lucky enough only this year I've taken on two additional shops um, that they've made two Christmas orders what, what, what that their first orders are, are the Christmas orders but for the last three years I've been doing candles for these other 12 shops um, so where do I get my fragrance oils from to make those? I actually buy my fragrance oils from Germany for, for my candle range um, that I make currently. And um, yeah, I, it's not really feasible to continue doing that for me to uh, sell as a supply. So as a fragrance oil supply, it's not feasible. The price is way too high for you guys to, to pay. I'm sure some of you would gladly pay it to get a decent range, but it just works out too high. So that's how I've got my experience in candles, the last three and a half years making, well, thousands of candles, to be honest. And yeah, so I know a decent amount about um, making candles and an okay amount now about how fragrance oils work in terms of the ingredients that go into them. Uh, so as, is, as what is the case, oh my God, get my words out. As is the case in most things in life, the higher the quality of ingredients that go into a product, the higher quality is the finished product. Obviously the cost goes up a little bit with that, but you get a more premium product. So that is what I've classed as my premium fragrance oil, fragrance oil range. Um, yeah, so we, we, we use a lot of um, premium high-end quality ingredients into the fragrance oils that help this, and this is the difference though between my fragrance oils and other fragrance oils. My fragrance oils that are specifically developed for candles, they, they can be used on wax melts, there's no, no problem with that, they will produce you a very high-end wax melt uh, and that's brilliant to help you differentiate from everyone else. But back to the candle point, they so I don't want to talk about too much of how a candle works in this video, I will in other videos, but when you put fragrance oil into a candle and you light the flame, the heat from the flame burns off your fragrance oil, so you lose a lot of the, the hot throw, so that's why you get very weak smelling candles, or you can get very weak smelling candles because the 
frame saw that you're using that is available for most of the manufacturers currently in the UK is they use quite low ingredients that burn off under heat um, so that's the difference between my frame saw range and a lot of the other ones out there they can withstand the heat of a flame so it gives the, the candle a chance to emit a strong scent throw so that's uh, that's the difference really it's the uh, ingredients that you put into it that, that do make all the difference and yeah it's been a long time it's been a lot of reformulations a lot of testing hell of a lot of testing um, I've let's put it this way I've had hundreds of um, fragrances developed and given to me not given to me I've had to buy them obviously but yeah that I've bought that I've tested and out of those hundreds it might be 150 it's really in that sort of region I've only got 29 that I've accepted as a as a past the criteria of a premium fragrance oil. The rest of them they weren't good enough so I won't be stocking anything that doesn't work and so it has to work well in candles and obviously it's going to work amazing in wax melts. So yeah so um, long story short it's been a long long time it's been very costly um, a lot of frustration and didn't think we were going to get there in the end um, yeah but very happy now that, that they're finally released got a few of them behind me just to show you but you'll see them all on the website rusticbarncandles.co.uk and obviously go to the um, tab at the top there that says about the supplies for wax melts and candles and then you'll see frame saws click on that and you'll see the full range I've got two ranges the premium frame saw range so in the title it says premium frame saw range and then I've got my high quality frame saw range the premium ones that have been developed for specifically in candles, the high-end uh, fragrance oils, they can be used in candles as well. The, the only difference is they're not as good as the premium fragrance oil range. That doesn't mean they're rubbish, far from it. They still work and still emit a good scent from in candles. Um, they were the actual lines that were on the edge of being accepted. And I just haven't classed them as the premium fragrance oil range. That's the only difference. So like I said, I've had a, roughly 150 fragrance oils that I bought for testing and of those um, there is a premium line from them and then there is a high quality end. Both of them can be used in candles, the premium fragrance oil range work better, the high quality fragrance oil range work well, very good really, better than average and they work brilliantly in wax melts. Um, I'm waffling a little bit so um, we'll just end that, that point there but yeah so um, a lot of you have bought them already thank you very much I've had a lot of positive feedback um, it's really appreciated um, I've had I have had a lot of comments about can I do a smaller size so, just so it's a bit more feasible for you to buy samples um, so I, I had the 50 mil size bottle which I thought was small enough but um, Maybe for sampling, you guys, well, a lot of you guys wanted a smaller bottle. So I've halved this now into a 25ml bottle um, in terms of uh, I've, added a, I've added an additional bottle size being 25ml. So that's really the sample size bottle of 25ml. And then it goes up 50, 100, 500ml, and then one litre. Um, obviously, it works out cheaper to buy the biggest size possible, the litre size. Um, I haven't got the litre bottles at the minute, I'm still waiting on the litre, litre size bottles to come through. Should be with me in the next week or so, so they tell me, so then they will be available. But yeah, if you want to get your price down, buy the sample size or 50ml size, 100ml size for testing, do your testing, find the oils that you really prefer, and then buy it in your larger sizes and the price just the price just falls down drastically really. So yeah, so that's the way to do it, obviously get your, your costs down, and yeah, bigger profit margins for yourselves. Under each of the fragrance oils, I've uh, well for all the fragrance oils, I've done tons of testing, tons and tons and tons of testing, testing at six percent, seven percent, eight percent, nine percent, ten percent, testing at different heat temperatures of adding it to the wax. I've tested it in different wax. You can see some of the you probably see some of the um, the jars behind me that I've been testing in uh, shelf loads. And I've got loads in the containers, uh, so I do a lot of my storage in containers. I've got so much stuff. Obviously, I stock the wax. All the different bits and bobs, but now the fragrance oils as well. Yeah, so I've done tons of testing anyway. Back to the point. Uh, the point is that um, 
to help give you the best uh, opportunity when you buy fragrance oil from me, I've given you the recommended uh, best usage from each fragrance oil. Basically, um, a lot of my fragrance oils are very strong, so you don't need to be using 10%. You can use 10%, but I've given you suggestions or recommended best usage uh, percentages. So it might be 9%, 8%, 7%, uh, depending on the fragrance oil that you buy. It's all written there in the product description and I've given you the best temperature to add it to your wax. Um, don't go off the wax recommendation, whatever wax you buy, it gives a recommendation, add your oils at this temperature, that is just an average. Uh, the wax companies just give an average temperature for you to add your fragrance oil to it. They don't know the quality of the oil you're using, they don't know where, where you're buying it from, they don't know what the ingredients are of, of, of your fragrance oil. So if you're adding it too high, you'd be burning off a lot of the scent just when you're adding it and mixing it with your wax. So I've given you for each oil, from all the testing that I've done, all the different temperatures that I've added it to, I've whistled it down to the best percentage and the best temperature to add it to your wax. So that's specific for each fragrance oil and you'll see that under the product description for each one. Again, that's to help you get the most from your fragrance oil and, and obviously for you to do less testing. It makes it a lot easier for you, a lot more time saving, money saving. Yeah, so trying to help you in the best way I can in terms of uh, giving you a premium frames or range, as little testing as possible. By all means, do your own testing. Of course, do your own testing, but I've given you the, the starting point, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's available now on the website. Um, the 25 meal is available today, that's available right now, that's live. Um, yeah, so uh, feel free to buy those sample sizes, give it a try, try it in candles, try it in wax melts. Again, you're going to be producing premium wax melts, help you to differentiate yourself from the average, you know, high quality product, charge a bit more, uh, a bit more profit, obviously. Um, but yeah, uh, look forward to more feedback, and yep, yeah, see you in the next one. I will be doing more videos now, I've got a bit more free time, all of that testing is slowed down now. I've got more, more oils coming, I'm doing some testing on some some more, 10-15 uh, that I'm quite liking and we'll probably release at some point anyway, I'm not too sure when obviously, uh, just going to whittle things down a bit more and then um, yeah, there'll be some more available as well. But yeah, if you want to try those now, available on the website rusticbarncandles.co.uk, I'll leave a link in the description so that'll take you straight to the fragrance oil page and yeah. Thanks for watching this one and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.